Welcome to Microsoft Access 2013 Beginner Level 1, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com here on YouTube. This video is Lesson 12 of 12, plus an introduction. If this is the first video you're watching in the series, click on the link shown to start this course from the beginning. Otherwise, we'll start Lesson 12 right now. Now let's take a few minutes and review what we covered in today's class. We learned about database terminology, the parts of an access database including tables, forms, reports, and queries. We learned how to plan out our database in advance. We learned about the parts of the access interface including the ribbon. We built a customer table with all the necessary fields. We learned how to enter and edit data into our tables. We covered sorting and filtering our records. We built a few different customer queries. We learned how to sort the data in our queries and apply a criteria, such as show me all customers from New York. We built a customer form where you can enter and edit data on the screen. Forms are good for your end users to work with. And we built a couple of different customer reports, including a set of mailing labels. Now that you've finished Access Beginner Level 1, the next course in the series is Access Beginner Level 2. For more information on this course, a complete outline of all the topics covered, plus some free sample lessons, visit my website at accesslearningzone.com and look for Access Beginner Level 2. Once again, if you have any questions about the material covered in today's class, be sure to post your questions in my student forums. If you're watching this class on my website, the student forum window should appear next to or below the video window. If you're watching this lesson elsewhere, visit my website at accesslearningzone.com and look for the Access Forums. If you need help with a Microsoft Access project that you're working on and your questions weren't answered in today's class, you can visit my tech support page at accesslearningzone.com slash tech help. I have options available for both free and paid support and I do my best to provide you with a prompt response. Your questions aren't just limited to Microsoft Access. You can ask me about anything that I teach, including Windows, Word, Excel, Web Design, and lots more. Make sure to stay updated of new releases. I release new video lessons all the time. You can follow me on my website, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. We do our best to have live tech support available on our website as often as possible. So if you need help, visit us at accesslearningzone.com slash contact. Now the only way I can make my classes better is with your feedback. So visit accesslearningzone.com slash survey right now and let me know what you thought of this course. Did I go too fast, too slow? Did I cover enough material? Give me your feedback today and also let me know what topics you'd like to see covered in future lessons. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video series. If you liked it, be sure to give me a thumbs up and comment below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos here on YouTube all the time. Be sure to visit my channel page. I've got tons of free tips and tricks videos online, plus lessons in other subjects like Microsoft Excel, Word, Windows, Visual Basic, and lots more. And finally, be sure to visit my website, accesslearningzone.com, for more free videos. Now that you've finished Level 1, you can get the entire Level 2 series for just $1. Again, that's AccessLearningZone.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you for learning with AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you've enjoyed this class, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. This course is copyright 2013 by AccessLearningZone.com and Richard Rost. All rights reserved. This course may not be reproduced, copied, edited, or otherwise distributed without the express written permission of AccessLearningZone.com. This course is sold on a per-user basis. Please do not share this course with others. If you require licenses for additional users, please contact us for discounted multi-user pricing. This course may not be used in a corporate, government, or educational institution without a site license.